Good morning and a very warm welcome to Bangkok International Airport. Guys, today I'm going to be flying with Qatar Airways in their A380 in the economy class. Today, going to be flying on the upper deck. Very much always been a believer that this is the absolute best way to fly economy. So come along and check what it's all about. Well, as I'm sure you'll gather from the darkness outside, it was a brutally early start on that particular day. That said, arriving at Bangkok International Airport, the check-in experience with Qatar was incredibly seamless. They did have a number of different check-in lanes, so those with priority could go straight through into the business class check-in. I've used this airport now countless times in the last 12 months or so, and I love how efficient it is. They've done a great job with this particular new airport opening. In no time at all, we were straight through into departures, checking out the wide range of different shops and also different lounge offerings. Now, although this is a economy review, I'm really fortunate to have top tier status with the One World Alliance. So that does afford access into any of the lounges, regardless of travel class. Unfortunately, at Bangkok, the Cathay Pacific Lounge is still closed and the Qatar Lounge is only accessible to those holding a business class ticket. So for me, on that particular morning, it was accessed straight into the gel lounge. This is really quite an interesting one. It's definitely orientated towards the Japanese travel market with an awful lot of Japanese offerings, particularly on the food front. That said, as it was so early, I couldn't really face any of it on that particular occasion. That said, they do have some additional facilities, including showers as well. In no time at all, it was time to head down to the gate to the aircraft. Just be aware, guys, if you are traveling through Bangkok International Airport, it is absolutely huge, so do make sure that you leave plenty of time to get through to your game. On that particular day, they were boarding by priority and group number, as so many of the One World Alliance Airlines do today. I was very excited to jump on board and did manage to do so before the vast majority of the other customers will get a really nice view as we jump on this particular A380. Now, the way that Qatar usually do things is business and first class passengers will go straight up onto the upper deck. So if you are down in economy, that will be accessing on the main deck and sat upstairs, you walk the whole length of the aircraft and then back up the rear stairwell. On that particular day, that gave me a good view of the main deck, which is a 343 layout. And I'll now hand you over to myself with the magic of technology to talk you through the upper deck. So guys, just before the masses arrive, this is definitely the best way if you can fly on the A380. Seats laid out in a 242 config. So you have a ton of room, and particularly if you take the inboard ones just next to the window, or outboard, I should certainly say, particularly at the rear, you can recline often straight away, which is absolutely fab. Um, and it certainly affords an awful lot more space, almost a little bit like premium economy, I guess. About as close as you're gonna get, certainly when flying economy. I have to say, this is my absolute favorite way of flying economy with any airline in the world. Particularly if you do get one of the rear seats, you've got that extra space just to recline straight into. The legroom is in line with the best I've ever seen in the industry. And being upstairs on an A380, you do get that additional space to your side if you do manage to bag a window seat. Above the seat, there's also some additional lighting and also air ventilation. Should also point out, charging is available on this particular aircraft. You've just got to look for it. It's just down to the bottom of the seat well, just in the core of the seat itself. Again, another favorite feature, being a 380, is the range of different cameras. So let's get that one set up as we push back and get ready for takeoff. As mentioned a little bit earlier, I've really loved my travels through Bangkok International Airport so far this year. One of the reasons for that is it's one of the few places in the world that you can still see the Boeing 747-400 series. Unfortunately, in this particular regard, they're almost on the verge of retirement, just in long-term storage with Thai Airways. I really hope that these can fly once more. Before I set you on your way to enjoy this fantastic takeoff, I should say for those of you who are not yet subscribed to the channel, this is a great opportunity to do so. You'll be notified so much more often of the upcoming releases when they go live. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and jump on board.
As ever, a very long takeoff roll with the Airbus A380. We were soon up, however, in the skies, departing Bangkok with some nice views back over the city as we departed. Our route on that particular morning would see us head west over the Bay of Bengal, crossing over to India before heading up into the Persian Gulf. Tour in the cabin, the bathrooms as ever with Qatar Airways were absolutely immaculate and I should say for an economy bathroom, very snazzy indeed. On the entertainment front, the headphones are about as good as really you can expect with economy class in this day and age. That said, the seatback entertainment was fantastic, very much in line with what they've got across the entire fleet with a nice modern screen to enjoy that wealth of content on. After a much needed few hours sleep, I did wake in time for the second meal service. On that particular flight, there was a couple of meal services. The main service was a breakfast and then a lighter snack before landing, which we'll check in on in just a moment. I'm seeing this more and more in this day and age in economy class with flights around seven hours or so long with a main service and then a lighter snack shortly before landing. The light snack that I adopted for was indeed very nice indeed, but given the menu description, probably overselling it very slightly to be critical of my favourite carrier for just a moment, but certainly in terms of economy light snack offering, as I say, pretty good indeed. Wi-Fi was additionally available on board as ever across a range of different packages. Qatar Airways is quite generous in this regard, so you do get a one hour messaging plan, completely free of charge, even in economy, and then of course it escalates from there, depending on how much data you'd like. In the business and first class cabins, there's also some allowance from memory, completely free of charge. So as we made our long and slow descent down into Doha, it was time for me to sit back and reflect on what had been an absolutely awesome economy flight. From all of my flights over the years, I have to say this was probably the best economy flight I'd ever taken. It was something far more akin and almost equivalent to premium economy. The Qatar chief often says they'll never look at premium economy because their economy is just so good. And particularly if you can get on the upper deck of the A380, this really is as close to premium economy as it gets. Anyway, hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned to the channel for lots more coming up soon and I will see you in the next one.